see what she can do. Ooh, this beast can really hug the rail. That's the least of Black Steel's new talents. And now that she's finally in motion, no one can stand in her way. Uh, sir, there is someone standing in our way. <gasps> Wish I could see the look on Black's face when he realizes they're alive! Full burn ahead! So, uh, how do we stop this mighty, mighty train? Uh, you know? That's a good question. B? Yeah. Mount up and slug it out. Yeah, we should probably just call that plan A. Whatever we call it, let's oh. do it. <laughs> we cannot keep up such speed for long. Then let's slow that thing down. Court. Plan C? But you have to ask. <laughs> we didn't even make a dent in that thing. Eli, go for the wheels! Yep, Plan D. I'm on it! Banger? Bang it! Yeah. <laughs> Why is everything he makes so cool? I'm thinking derailing might not be an option here. Everyone, plan E! Eli, look out! <laughs> I was sure you perished when you fell into the great abyss. Once again, you have disappointed me. That's what makes my job so fun. Well, my job has its perks as well. Anytime soon. Which means Slug Terra will be even more dependent on the Slug Terran Express. And whack! Yeah. And I got nothing. Beast Forge in range at 500 meters! We gotta stop this train before the Gatler's in range of the forge. Call Grendel as a precaution. Grendel, you've gotta get everyone out of the forge. Huh? Why? <sighs> How much time do we have? Not enough. 400? 
50 meters? We're out of time, and we've already thrown everything we got at him. Not everything. We gotta use the double barrel. I need to try a fusion shot. What? No way! You can't. We haven't tested it yet. Kill Audrey! Then consider this a test. You guys ready? <laughs> uh, sorry, Enigmo. I don't think your blurry vision's gonna help right now. <laughs> In range! Cord, cover me! your last chance to give up. Ha! You still think you can stop me? No. I know I can stop you because I have this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Exactly what I was hoping for. Are you guys all right? <laughs> no good lazy slugs. It's not their fault. I think that energy wave shorted them all out. <laughs> Too bad it didn't have the same effect on my ghouls. <laughs> that show because it's the last thing you'll ever see <laughs> ah! well Eli Shane now that you're about to suffer your final fate do you have any last oh forget that goodbye the shadow clan <laughs> 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 Huh? You stay with Black! I'll be okay! You okay, sir? Far better than the shame. Looks like he's about to suffer a fate worse than I could have dealt him. I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. We're finished here. Head for Lumino Cavern next. What about the rest of the Shane gang? They may still be out there. Without Eli Shane, they're nothing. Hunting them down would be a waste of ghouls. Trix, we gotta go after Eli. No! You heard Black. If he gets to Lumino, he'll do the same thing he did to the Forge. We gotta stop that train. Besides! Eli is with the Shadow Clan, so he should be fine. Hopefully. Maybe. Well, at least there's a chance. Son of real shame. We sense the disturbance created by your weapon. It is reckless to combine two slugs whose auras are not aligned. Wait, what? Aligned? Auras? So, you guys know why the double barrel blaster didn't work. You gotta tell me so I can use it to stop Black. There is no tell. You either see, or you do not. See? See what? All I saw were two slugs combined into something really cool. Then things went kind of... Haywire. An improper combination of slugs can have severe, devastating effects. Like causing all the slugs in the area to short out. That is but one danger. There are others. Far worse. Okay, Proto hates to point out the obvious. But seeing as how we could not stop that train when we had our best linger and our slugs actually worked, 
We are going to stop Black. How? By beating him to the brake line bridge. Black's train has to come across here to get to Lumino. If we can get there first, we might be able to stop him without a big slinging battle. Yeah, nice plan, Trix, but how are we gonna do that? His super fast train has a super huge head start. Yeah, if only we had a stellar tracker who knew shortcuts and secret passages. Mm, yes, that would be very advantageous. Hey, wait a minute! I'm right in front of you! Ah ha ha! Touche! Follow me. Please! Black has a new weapon. You saw it. He's using it to take whatever he wants. No one can stop him. You gotta show me the right way to combine my slugs so I can. Fine. My friends are out there, probably trying to stop Black right now. If you won't help me, I'll just go figure it out myself. If you insist on using this weapon, you must prove to us you can master it, no matter how long that takes. What? No! My friends are in danger. So unless someone here thinks they can stop me... Okay, then. There's the bridge! Nice work, Mo Man. Bruto always delivers. His shortcuts, like his modesty, are a thing of legend. Time for you to deliver, Cord. Black's train is gonna be here any second. You know, it's pretty offensive to assume I know bridges just because I'm a troll. Don't you? Well, of course I do. <laughs> I need to take out those supports. <sighs> I don't think he's got enough pop in him. Looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. been on the other side of the ravine when we blew up the bridge. to give me a clue. The answer is in your grasp. <sighs> Enough with the riddles. This is no riddle. The answer is in your grasp. I can see your aura. 
Horus! So, that's what you do, huh? You were trying to help me all along, weren't you? Thanks, little buddy. Now, the matching part? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Thresher and a forge smelter, huh? Bingo! Bussa, Torch, you guys ready? I was expecting a bit more of a fight from the miners of Lumino. We heard about the Beast Forge. Oh, yes. There was uh, some sort of accident, I hear. What a pity. But what can you expect, given the inferior machines they used to produce? We'd like to avoid any accidents here. Lumino Cavern is willing to surrender our mine to your control if you don't hurt our people. <laughs> Ah, uh, what makes you think I want your mine? I found my own Lumino Ore Quarry. You're the competition now. And I have little need for competition. <laughs> Eli Shane? What can I say? Guess I'm still a constant source of disappointment, huh? No. This is my fault. And I always clean up my own mess. Blaster still needs time to recharge before I can go double barrel again. But I can still do this. How did you escape the Shadow Clan? Escape? They let me go. They're pretty cool guys once you get to know them. Keep your Shadow Clan secrets. They won't be doing you any good for much longer. <laughs> so now, one final time, I ask, any last words? Nah. We like to let our slugs do the talking. <laughs> So, do you have a nice visit with the Shadow Clan? I'll tell you about it later. Right now, I'm ready to go double barrel. Whoa, whoa, last time you did that, it shorted out all our slugs. Do it again and we're dead meat. I don't have time to explain. You have to trust me. Yes! Man, this baby really works! 
Now we got something that can outslug Black's Gatla. It's a total game changer. So the Shadow Clan showed you how to use it? Nope. This guy showed me. <laughs> It'll take some practice with Enigma to figure out all the different fusion moves these slugs can do. And hopefully someday, I'll be as powerful as the unbeatable master. <laughs> Not that I'm saying I'm as good as... I know what you're saying. I just have no idea what you're thinking. You're nuts, dude. You know that, right? <laughs> Epidemic of returning from the grave. Hello, Black. Diablos Nacho. I suppose you have a message for me. Not a message. A warning. Uphold your end of our bargain, or there will be consequences. You made a deal with my master. I'm back to make sure you honor it. Welcome back to a special Slugmat presentation of the Slugball Championship. Brought to you by our new sponsor, Black Industries. Black Industries, bringing you tomorrow's yesterday, today. I'm Bob Johnson. As always, with me, my co-host, Blast Vanderhuge. Blast! It's been quite a week for Slugball, Bob. Taking us all the way to the semifinals and just one game away from the Slugball Cup. If you're just joining us, the Beast Forge Shock and Rollers just scored against the Deadweed Miners, giving them a 3-1 to -one lead. Replay. Team Captain Grendel out in front with a perfect play. There wasn't a miner in sight. That is how you do it, Bob. That is how you do it. Time out on the field, and it looks like Grendel's using it to, to visit with the fans. Ah, you need it! Are you kidding? We wouldn't miss this for the world. <laughs> Cord even brought his glove, hoping he'll catch a loose ball. Get out of town, you play. Well, you know, just for fun. Mostly when I was a kid. Cord's being modest. I've seen him play. He could totally go pro if he wanted to. <laughs> Shucks. Thanks. Joining us here in the booth, the commissioner of Slugball himself, Primo Presto. The pleasure's all mine. How about those rollers? They get their whole cavern blown up during the Beast Forge accident and turn to Slugball to find meaning in their broken, empty lives. It kind of makes you tear up, don't it? Yeah, yeah. Inspiring. And now they're this close to the finals, where they'll face off against defending champions, the Blade City Brutes. A team recently purchased by Dr. Black, no less. How do you respond to the rumors that Black was involved in the destruction of the Beast Forge? <laughs> I'm not one to comment on rumors, especially when Dr. Black is involved. And play him a song, kiddies. Thanks for the seats. And we're back into it. First period, 3-1 rollers. You can really feel the tension between these two rival captains, can't you? Here we go. The shock and rollers take possession. 32 passes to 15. Miners firing heavy hitters. 15 dodges one, can't avoid the other, but is able to get the ball to Ryder 63. Trap deployment! 63 definitely makes his way through them, so the miners start slinging. Ah, ooh, a frost crawler to the midsection. And that'll cool his jets, Bob. What's this? Oh, look at that! He decides sketching a dog back. If the shock and rollers keep playing at this level, Bob, they're gonna make a real run for the cup. <laughs> oh, that's what I like to see. Grendel on a run up the middle. He's avoiding the random obstacles like he knows what's coming. But he isn't alone as two miners give chase. Yeah. Ooh. Grendel on the approach and... Welcome to Trap Deployment City. Look at all those traps, Bob. Grendel!
It's all part of the game. Intense situation, but Team Captain Grendel quickly gets off an erect net slug, and he's safe. No pedicure for the captain this time, Bob. Is that part of the game? Actually, no. <laughs> Stay away! Don't touch it! Dude, no one's touching it. Good! Keep not touching it! <laughs> You'd think a professional athlete would be able to take the pain better. And yet, not so much. The universe is full of surprises. We checked the circuit board from the arena trap that malfunctioned. The wires were frayed just enough to break during the game. What are you saying? This was sabotage? Huh? That's exactly what I'm saying. It's gotta be Black's team. We know he's not above cheating. Hang on, I know the brutes. They're a little rough and tumble, sure. But they're slugball players, not cheaters. Whoa, whoa, everybody just slow down. I don't like where this is headed. Sabotage, cheaters. Grendel, baby, you know I respect you. But your little tykes just can't go throwing accusations around. You get proof. Then we'll talk. All right, Primo. You want proof? You got it. But Eli, this is the finals. What about the game? <laughs> I got bad news for you, kid. You see, your friend's team needs four players. With him out of the game, that means you're one short, which means forfeit. What about the reserve players? There are no reserve players. Took half our roster just to make it here to the semifinals. We're all that's left. Well... There's always next year. Not so fast. According to the official Slugball rulebook, any substitution can be made from a non-registered hmm? player at any time, provided it's approved by the team captain. In case you hadn't noticed, Grendel, that's you. Can I see that? Well, what do you know? Then we can still win this game. We just need someone who knows Slugball well enough to be half decent out there. Hmm. Hmm? Huh? Would. I'm being told there's a substitution on the part of the rollers. That makes this as good a time as any to go over the official rules of intercavern slugball. On either side of the arena, there's a goal. Each of them is magnetized just like the players' gloves. Players can use any slug they want to stop another player or get them a goal. Boom! Bam! Just like that! And as if all that weren't enough, players also have to contend with one last obstacle, a series of automated arena traps randomly programmed by the first class technicians in game control. Hey, Dan, do you know how to get mustard stains out? I just use sandpaper. Welcome back. It's the start of the second period, and the rollers still lead three to one. <laughs> I don't know how long this lead's going to last, Bob. Look at that rookie. Yes. And we're on. <laughs> Number 57 slips past Roller defense. And goal! Niners climbing back up the charts, Bob. Roller's rookie Cordzane has possession. But he's taking the ball into the gauntlet, Bob. This newbie has a lot to learn about slug ball. <laughs> he clears a piston trap, but the miner isn't so lucky. <laughs> what? Oh, close call through the Friars. <laughs> Digs the blades, and he's out. <laughs> That's right, Bob. Out like a light. Ouch. You okay, Cord? You don't have to do this. Are you kidding? Getting clobbered in a slugball championship is a lifelong dream. 64 with a long pass to 98, and it's another goal. Tying it up three to three. What a game. <laughs> Miners again with possession. 57 has a clear shot. Here goes nothing. But wait, rookie roller number 28 out of nowhere. Damn! Just like that! Unbelievable! I got it? Ah! I got it! I got the ball! There might be hope for this cord kid yet, Bob. Well done, rookie. Now, how about you pass it? Oh, right. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Rookie 28 in an incredible move. Passes the ball, and the rollers are moving forwards. Traps activated, and the rollers stop dead in his tracks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not right. 
We got a massive deployment in Quadrant 3. Looks like every single obstacle is firing. That's not right. Manual override. Dial it back. None of the control switches are responding. I tell you, Bob, that oh. kid's making it look easy. Hey, I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Right. Can the celebration and stay with me. Stick close and watch for ramps. Yeah, ramps. Ramps deployed. <laughs> I love this part. I hate this part. <laughs> <laughs> Electric bill for number 28. It's lights out, baby! Time out on the field. Number 28, Cord Zane, has taken a big hit and seems to be out cold. Oh, I know how that feels, Bob. Cord? Hmm? Cord, can you hear me? <laughs> Eli? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Are you all right, dude? Have we lost yet? Uh, nope. <laughs> then let's get this show on the road! Yeah! That was lucky. That trap targeted Cord. I know Black and the Brutes are behind this. We've got to get some proof. Nice, nice. You know that. You ask me, this whole thing is fishy. I mean, Black's been into some heavy duty stuff lately. Blowing things up, taking over caverns, the big leagues. Now he's rigging a sports game? I'd hate to say it, but it's almost beneath him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Eli? Well, well. <laughs> Look what we have here. A rat. You like digging through other people's possessions, rat? I couldn't quite hear that. <laughs> so <laughs> then maybe I should speak up. Why, you little... Hey, cool it. We don't want any trouble. You're the one with the blaster, Missy. And cool or not, your friend was the one going through Thrasher's stuff. Cool it. I wouldn't be going through your stuff if the Blade City Brutes weren't cheating. I don't have to take that from a pipsqueak like you. Listen, Mr. Thrasher, was it? There's clearly been a misunderstanding, so I'm just gonna take my friend and go, okay? <sighs> Well, you were right. That was a huge waste of time. Nah. How do you figure? Shane's always miss the subtle solution. While you were scrapping with Thumper, I pulled this from his locker. What is it? Yeah! Yeah! Miners score again, giving them a 5-3 lead. Down by two. Final timeout. What this team needs is one of Pronto's Famous pep talks. Let me tell it to you as clean as I can. This is a team they say is good. Yeah, let's get it! Yeah! Works every time. It's a soldering tool. As in the kind you'd use to sabotage the circuit boards on the arena traps. Oh, yeah. This doesn't prove anything. You know Thrasher likes to work on mechas, right? Huh. <sighs> Look, kid, it's your friend. I sympathize, but slugball is a dangerous game. Doesn't mean anything more than that. My suggestion to you is to go back out there and enjoy the game. Go! Rollers tied up in the third period. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. 5-5, five, five, just seconds on the clock. It all comes down to this. Whoever scores is going up against the Brutes in the finals. Miners on the approach. Uh, ah. Great pass to 17, nearly offside there. Brawler's moving in, but it's no good as the Miners continue forward. This is championship level playing, Bob. Rookie Cork Zane blasts an arachnid slug. It's an effective play, Bob, but a dime a dozen defensive move. But what is this? Thank you. Oh, doodle, the rookie's got the cookie, Bob. Ah. What a play. But 57 defenseman gets out of the shot. And it's... Goal! Yeah! <laughs> Against all odds, the Shock and Rollers are in the finals. I tell you, Bob, I haven't been this excited since the mustard stain came out of my favorite trousers. We did it, guys!
Um, Cord? None of them are in any shape to play. Which means the Brutes will win the cup. <sighs> Eli, this is ridiculous. Asking Cord to play was one thing, but this is just crazy. Well, what do you want to do? Just let Black's team cheat their way to the cup? You did say you told Primo how they cheated. Maybe he'll do something about it. You honestly think Primo will do something about it? If the shock and rollers forfeit, the Brutes get the cup. It might seem intimidating, but deep down, this game is about slug shooting. That's what we do every day. This is exactly like normal. Just televised. And hovering. With 40,000 screaming fans. Oh, man. Good talk, Eli. Really inspiring. <clears throat> Allow me. This is a team they say is good. But I think we're better than that. Wait! You need to be inspired! And we're back with the Intercavern Slug Bowl Championship, where in a surprise substitution, Eli Shane and his gang will be going head-to-head -head with Dr. Black's Blade City Brutes for the Slug Bowl Cup. Blast, as an ex-player and Slug Bowl fan, this has got to make you happy. Seeing outclass newbies crushed on the playing field always makes me happy, Bob. Any last words, Rat? I make it a rule not to talk to cheaters. I didn't cheat. But I tell you what, you believe what you want. It'll lessen the sting when we bring home the cup. L-Block RPMs are looking a little high. They might want to turn All that... All of you, out, now. Sir, it's the championship. The players are in the arena. And you know what they got that you don't? Jobs! Now go, go, move it! Let's see some hustle, people! <laughs> <laughs> Captain gets possession. The Shane kid's in over his head, Rob. I've never seen a trap like this before. You all right, buddy? We should be careful. Something tells me that trap isn't exactly regulation. Brute's captain easily makes his way forward. Such dexterity, such soul. He lines up his shot and goal. The Brutes get the first goal of the finals. Feller substitute rider number 13. Pranto Jeremy Mole. Doesn't look good. Ah, shouldn't even have the ball, Bob. He should be passing it. <laughs> A taser leap to the backside, Bob. Loose ball recovered by Thrasher. Oh, huh? Thrasher. You dropped your ball, buddy. Oh, no! I hope she has a good dentist. <laughs> Shane fires a defensive frost crawler, which takes out a couple of brutes. Am I imagining, or are these traps getting worse? <laughs> Look out! You, you saved me. But then, you didn't, I mean... I told you, we weren't cheap. But the soldering tool, I found it in your locker. I found that under the arena. I was going to confront the League about it before you took it. But if it wasn't you, then who? <laughs> Primo! Where do you think you're going? To catch a rat! Hey, you get back here! We got a game to finish! <laughs> Primo, wait! I have to talk to you! I uh, can't talk now! I'm late for a dentist appointment! Try late again! <laughs> Now maybe we can talk? <sighs> You'll never take me alive, kid. I'm really starting to not like this guy. What did Black give you to fix the games, Primo? Is it money? <laughs> money? You're a cut up, kid. Nah! I did it pro bono! Real smart like! You mean you helped Black cheat for free? Why? Because Black Star is on the rise! You think he's gonna stop with Slug Ball? Thaddeus Black is gonna own this world. Maybe more. Having him owe me a favor? That's just good business. Nice knowing you, kid! <laughs> that guy gives our sport a bad name. Thrasher! Wait, why aren't you in the arena? You left. Figured I'd keep the numbers even. I'm not the kind of guy that likes to win by technicality. 
Okay, tie score, 30 seconds on the clock. This has to be it. I don't think we can beat these guys in OT. Now, the first thing we need to do is get the ball back, which I do have an idea on. Once we do that, it's straight down the middle. But we only have one working mecha beast. I know, which is why you'll be towing both of us. Eli's the one that's good with speeches, so I'll just say this. We can do it. 30 seconds left in the finals. It's 1-1, and the Brutes have possession. The Shane Gang are cruising for a boozing, Bob. <laughs> Eli Shane blasts off an Inferno Slug. Keeping the Brutes in check as Trixie and Court move up and over the trap Brutes. <laughs> what the heck is that thing? I'm being told it's a Slick Silver Slug. Transforms into a giant living ball of magnetized metal. Just like my skull. If I'd have thought of that back when I was playing, might not have had to retire and broke it down. Shame. Come on, here are you. Cord's got the ball, and here come the brutes. Eli! Only seconds left. Shock and Rollers have won the Slug Ball Championship Cup! Cord, that was amazing! What can I say? What can I say? It's a game of great subtlety and finesse. I gotta admit, I had my doubts about you, Eli. But you and your friends more than earned this. Thanks, but this doesn't belong to the Shane Gang. You can't do this to me! I got rights! I want to talk to my lawyer! Hello? Is there anyone there? Relax, Mr. Presto. Don't strain yourself. Dr. Black! I don't understand! I, mean, I helped you! I tried to make it so your team won! I was just trying to help! By making people think I need to cheat to win. Huh. That is something I'd rather not advertise. <laughs> What's gonna happen to me? Oh, I'm sure I'll find some use for you. Eventually. Dr. Black! Don't leave me here! Dr. Black! About that tab, sir. You and your gang have been here over a week and. Huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that should settle the bill, my good man. Lug, what's the customary percentage for a tip? You know I can't, ma'am. I don't know about you, but I feel generous. Should we say mm, 20%? <laughs> My unsurpassed tracking abilities can guarantee that lock and load are extraordinarily near. You sure, Pronto? <laughs> Reasonably certain. Uh, uh. Let's go! Huh? Hold on, son. We don't need your help today. Huh? Are you serious? We have our own hometown hero, you know. Been out adventuring in Outland Reach for the past few weeks. But the second he gets back, he'll run these thugs out of town quick. You'll see. He's the greatest slug slinger there ever was. Ever! Really? Huh? I can't wait to meet him. Who is he? Huh? Here he comes now! Oh, yeah. Am I a sight for sore eyes or what? More like sore ears. Hey, everybody! Did you miss me? The king of slime? 
Ling? They're gonna send him against Lock and Load? <laughs> this is not gonna end well. <laughs> King? <laughs> what kind of a king of slang would I be if I couldn't dismiss a couple of ruffians? <laughs> you and I have dueled before, you know, and you lost to me like three times in a row. That's for your napping. That's for your flapping. And that one wins me the duel. <laughs> yes, Trixie. All part of a strategy to build overconfidence in my opponents. Like the time I defeated the Twisted Man and his little twin in a duel that lives in legend. But you've heard the story. Oh, I'm never tired of hearing this story. Yeah, yeah. You may hear more tales of my losing tactic from other slingers. I get it. Can I speak to you in private? Uh, your majesty? Huh? I get that you're the hero of this cavern and that everybody looks up to you. Well, they do indeed. There's not a lot of excitement this far off the beaten track. For so many people, I represent hopes and dreams, adventure, and a life of wonder. Yeah, I get that, but those guys in that cafe aren't just any slingers. They're some of Dr. Black's top henchmen. Uh, listen, Eli, I, I know that my slinging skills aren't what they used to be. Or ever were. But if you go in there and save the town like you always do, where does that leave me? King of Sling! King of Sling! King These people expect me to save them. It's my job. It's all I have. Eli, you can't just let him walk in there and face those guys alone. They'll eat him alive and use his knuckle bones for toothpicks. Maybe there's another way. And if this works out, we'll get lock and load out of the town without firing a single shot. The Shane Gang can change that. You're right. We're doomed. Eli, I told you that I had this handled. Stand back and let me take care of these hooligans. <laughs> and you would be? Tell them, folks. The King of Sling! King of Sling? Seriously, you've never heard of a hero of the Outland Reach. So fearsome that even Thaddeus Black is afraid to speak his name. I've never heard Dr. Black talk about this guy. Exactly. He beat me six times in a row with a busted blaster and a pair of sick floppers. <laughs> you guys are so doomed now. Sorry, King. We know you have this covered. Uh, we'll just get out of your way. Who? You think this guy's as good as they say? Well, we were lucky to get a drop on the chain gang just now. If this King's a better slinger than them... Perhaps we should regroup elsewhere before that claim can be proven. That's it. Back away. Perhaps you'd like a little parting gift. Huh? The shake, rattle, and run. You will run if you know what's good for you. What's he doing? <laughs> the bump and blast. <laughs> and for the finale, the star spangled screamer. <laughs> Huh? 
This might have been a mistake. Thank you, babies. Thank you very much. Had enough, boys? Here it comes. We're not dead. We're barely even scratched. He's nothing but a flashy charlatan. And a big biker, too. <laughs> you put on a pretty show. But let's see how you do against raw ghoul power. <laughs> <laughs> No, Trixie. If we help him now, he'll totally lose face. <laughs> Your turn, brother. At least he'll have a face to lose. Those two are gonna annihilate him. This was amusing, but all good things come to an end, including you, King. You can't just let him get blasted. Huh? <laughs> 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 I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Nothing to worry about. Come on. You didn't think I'd let Locke blast him, did you? Like the king said, nothing to worry about. Winner takes the spoils, king. Your castle will make a fine headquarters for the newest outpost of Black Industries. <laughs> Are you worried now? Because I am. By taking control of this cavern, you've also secured the only known entrance to the Outland Reach. Those unexplored caverns hold a great many mysteries I intend to unlock. You too may have proven useful after all. Uh, and we even ran off the Shane Gang! <laughs> what? You said you had this covered. Do you play me for a fool? No, sir, Dr. Black. We got lucky. They left the defense of the cavern to a local fella. He won't be a problem anymore. This place is sewn up tight. Good. And should things unravel, you'll answer to me. Personally. I don't understand. Nobody beats the King of Sling. That's what you've always told us. This must be part of that losing tactic you were talking about, right? Indeed, child. I've tested their resolve, and they've proven to be worthy adversaries. I will now retreat, uh, uh tactically withdraw to consider my next move. Now, uh, can somebody get me out of this thing? Anyone? You still there, kid? How could you interfere, Eli, after I asked you not to? You wouldn't be here right now if I didn't. At least I'd have gone out in a blaze of glory instead of being an embarrassment to my people. When you gonna run those deadbeats out of your castle, King? I can't wait for the rematch. Sounds to me like they're eager to give you another shot. And this time, you're gonna hit the bullseye. I am? He is? Yes, you are. But when you do, you're gonna stick to the plan. Huh. And what is the plan? The King's gonna march into his castle, take out the guards, and send lock and load packing for good. At least, that's what it's gonna look like. Huh. Why all this sneaking around, Eli? We can't get recognized. Lock and load and the rest of the cavern think we've left. This won't work unless it looks like it's the king who's saving the day. Will he be saving it? Well, kind of. Um, problem. Do these shoes go with my outfit, or are they too matchy-matchy? You're gonna look beautiful, Pronto. What's important is that we blend in, so nobody can see that the King's getting a little boost from the Shang Gang. I know that some of you are confused, but don't worry. I'm gonna take back my castle and give those villains a beating that will become as legendary as the time I defeated the Twisted Man and his little twin. Have I told you that one? Oh, I oh, love oh, his story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The king's got the town on board. We just need to be inside the castle before he gets there. What about lock and load and all their guards? Seriously? We've busted into tougher places before breakfast. Whoop. 
Here we go. Here we go. I, I got this. I got it. Make sure you have a front row seat. This will be a duel for the ages. What a dump. <sighs> Agreed, brother. It will be a pleasure to shake its dust from my boots. This cavern is too small for the likes of lock and load. Whoop. The silencer mod should help cover our tracks and try to pick slugs that blend in with the kings. Shouldn't be too hard under all that flash. Okay, guys. Quick, slick, and sly. Three of my many middle names. Look who's back for more. <laughs> it appears as though my doorstep needs sweeping. <laughs> Yes! Just the slug with which to clean my house. What are you doing here? Cleaning house. Huh? How am I doing, folks? Yeah! His slugs seem a whole lot more powerful. Thanks for the save. No prob. Keep your eyes open. Something thump. Your hands! That's what should be up. You know, you really need to work on your banter. Pity you'll never have the chance. It might sting. <laughs> Dispatched my associates quite handily. Let's see how you do against me. <laughs> you seem surprised I'm here. After my associates informed me they had control of this cavern, I was naturally bound to show up sooner or later. It's fortunate I arrived when I did. Fortunate for me, I mean. Eli, we have to step in. The king's gotten this far on his own. Kind of. Kind of. But that's Dr. Black. So, you are the one responsible for all this? Huh? Er, yeah, more or less. Well, I'm sure it was exhilarating while it lasted. But now it's over. If we reveal ourselves now, when everything's at stake, the king will never live it down. There's nothing more sacred than a slinger's honor, especially in their home cavern. But Eli, honor needs to be earned by dueling. We can't keep propping this guy up. As a courtesy, you may draw first. Consider it a parting gift, or perhaps a last wish. One way or another, his people love him. I don't want to watch his entire life's calling crash and burn. And if we don't step in, his entire life will crash and burn. Not to mention the town. I know you guys are right, but let me try this one more time. All right, then. We'll shake, rattle, and run! <laughs> Nearly as naive as my associates over there. What? You're not dueling alone. I, I don't see anybody else. I'd recognize that infernus anywhere. You're getting help from Eli Shane. 
You've caught me red-handed, Dr. Black. I'm afraid I am receiving assistance. Okay. Time to face the music. Ah, oh, here he is. The Puppet Master. Thanks for trying, Eli, but it appears as though the game is over. Sorry, King. I wanted to save your cavern and your honor. Now you'll save neither! <laughs> <laughs> My final offer. Surrender this town, and I'll leave it intact. Force me to duel. We love you, King! Don't let the bad man scare you! Surrender? Sorry, Dr. Black. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> then allow me to teach you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you how I defeated the Twisted Man and his little twin in a duel that lives in legend. Never heard of it. <laughs> Goodbye, your majesty. If you want the king, you have to go through us. You defend a man who's a cheat and a coward? A man who's lied to you about his prowess and exploits. <laughs> you think we don't know all that? It's why we love him. Why, without his tall tales, we'd go nuts in this middle of nowhere town. Even I know they're just stories. But they're good stories. Thank you, everyone. And I'm sorry my little subterfuge brought us to this moment. Oh, touching. Heartfelt and nauseating. One obstacle or a hundred, I'm going to have this cavern. Let's get it! Looks like the king and his people are black on the ropes. Black, you're not taking this cavern. Get my Gatling blaster, now! Stop Lock and Load from getting the Gatler. I'll take care of Black. With or without you, rabble? This place is still my gateway to the Outland Reach. Did everybody see that shot? I believe that I just won the day! Best we retreat, Doctor! <laughs> Pretty impressive how well you stood up to Black on your own. I wasn't alone. That's the secret of this cavern. Its strength is in the collective spirit of its people. I'm just a humble vessel for their greatness. Not entirely humble, but great nonetheless. Things ended well this time. Black wants something out there beyond the known caverns. I'm pretty sure he'll be back to get it. And next time, I won't hesitate to ask for help. I may not be the best slinger in Selectera, but I am the luckiest. No one's ever going to dispute that story, Your Majesty. Stalagmite 17. The most escape-proof prison in all of Slugterra. Watchful guards. I take locks, steel doors. And now, in control of it all, me, Mr. Saturday. <laughs> I can think of no better place to hold the world-famous Shane Gang. Go ahead and gloat, Saturday. But you're missing two little things. Oh, 
And they are? The two of us you didn't manage to capture. And they're probably on their way to rescue us right now. Nothing can keep the great Fronto away from the fight! Hey! Where did everybody go? Oh, captured! Well, never fear! Fronto will come to the rescue! This is really gonna take a miracle, isn't it? No! if I wasn't seeing it with my own eyes. The Shane Gang, locked up like a pack of stray dogs. I'll be there before nightfall to collect them. Congratulations, Saturday. You're now officially another minion of Dr. Black. No, 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 no. I am a businessman, and this is strictly business. Although I am running a little low on ghouls, Dr. Black. Call our arrangement what you wish. You'll get your ghouls when I get the Shane Gang. And one other thing, none of your mind control foolishness. I want our prisoners fully aware as they count down the minutes to my arrival. He's not here yet, Saturday. And there's still plenty of time for us to break out. From Stalagmite 17, I have every guard under my control. And they have one simple order to ensure you do not escape. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get myself a smoothie. I can't believe I got us into this mess. Come on, Eli, it's not your fault. Well, technically it is your fault, but we forgive you. Just don't ask me to forgive myself for what happened. <sighs> Worst surprise party! Gotta use the double barrel blaster! Without the Enigma slug? I've been practicing. But I think I got this. <laughs> plan <laughs> which begins with finding out exactly where our friends have been taken to mm. luckily the rusty buckle cantina is nearby a watering hole for ex-cons and all species of slack hair and scum with pronto's natural gift of gab he will easily learn through the criminal underground where our friends may be this way <laughs> And now that way! <laughs> Hurry up, you guys. He'll be back soon. Come on, push! <clears throat> What's this thing? <laughs> An escape attempt! That is a zombifying offense! Wait! Stop! Do you really want to disobey Dr. Black? I suppose that would be bad for business. But no more escaping! Face it, there's no way out of here except the front door. Don't worry. 
We still have Pronto and Burpee. Yeah. We must blend in and find a lowlife who just may know where our friends are. <laughs> who do you think you are? Slugs have no place on Mighty Pronto's exquisite shoulder. have their ear to the ground. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Nothing worse than a sassy slug. So, tell me, what news have you heard about the Shane Gang from your brothers in crime? You can tell me. I am an ex-con too, you know. Ex-con? We're the South Cavern Women's Knitting Club! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Set it down. Yeah. Outnumbered and outneedled, but not outstinked. <laughs> ah, not so tough after a little whiff of flatulent rinkus, eh? Actually, smells better than this place did before. <laughs> Get them, girls! <laughs> <laughs> Well, excuse you, Mr. Stripey Shirt. Don't shoot! I just don't want to go back to Stalagmite 17, okay? Ever since that maniac Mr. Saturday took over the place, it's worse than ever. Stalagmite 17, of course! Not even that impenetrable prison can hold me back. I will climb every wall, break the locks, and evade every last mighty shark! Or you could just use the front door. Ah, the front door, you say? So crazy? It just might work! Good day to you, fine sir! <laughs> ah, you see? Exactly as Pronto planned! <laughs> We're running out of time. Black's gonna be here any minute. <laughs> it's called a smoothie, not a lumpy. Oh, what does it take to get a proper blended fruity drink around here? <laughs> New escape plan. You know what I miss most in here? Making smoothies back at the hideout. Uh, oh, oh uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. Your that's, smoothies uh, are yummy. You, uh, you like to do. So, you make smoothies? <laughs> now, to find this elusive front door. <laughs> oh, go ahead and laugh. You slugs cannot understand Pronto's scientific method. <laughs> hey, what's for your... <sighs> exactly as Pronto planned it. 
This is where Pronto's natural tracking skills will shine. Ha! I am already on the scent of our captured colleagues. Getting warmer. <gasps> Even warmer. I am very warm now. Okay, well, in my defense, it is quite warm in here. Maximum security wing to kitchen. Ah, it's them. Zombies, bring me all the fruit you've got. And a blender. <laughs> <laughs> That zombie waiter will lead us right to our friends. You're dreaming, Saturday. No way I'm making you one of my world-famous, supremely delicious smoothies. Yes, you will, or... Or what? How are you gonna make me, Saturday? I'm not one of your zombie minions. Yeah. Cool down, Saturday. Remember what Dr. Black said about no zombieing. It is better to beg for forgiveness than to go another minute without my smoothie. Now! Incoming! <laughs> and outgoing! Oh! <laughs> 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 Glad to have you guys back. Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but Black's gonna be walking down that hallway any second now. Night night, Mr. Saturday. Uh, I know. Proto is an expert zombie walker, no? <laughs> <laughs> Maximum security. Pronto is here to rescue Eli Shane. That do-gooder was the one who put me in here. <laughs> exactly as Pronto planned. <laughs> ah, lucky break. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, no. Dead end! But Pronto will go down fighting! <laughs> or we could take the elevator! To glory! Uh, sorry, no room, next car! Gordon and Trixie are this way. Pronto is coming! <laughs> oh, try to grab the glory, eh? Everybody can see Pronto is responsible for this. 
<laughs> you have my heartfelt thanks. Zombie guards to the front gates. Stop the chain gang. <gasps> I'll handle their soon-to-be zombified comrade myself. Huh. Front door's open. Our luck continues. <laughs> yeah, not so much. <laughs> Your friends might have escaped, if not for you. So, in return, Mr. Saturday offers you a last word. Actually, Pronto must admit, Pronto is superior to slugs. But maybe not as superior to one slug huh? as he thought. I said last word. Uh, excuse me! I'm not finished, sir! Pronto should have had more faith in you. Huh? Pronto should have let you guide him more. Hey, we make a good team, you and I. You can run, Mr. Saturday, but you cannot hide from the justice of Pronto and Burpee. Choosing your slugs. Not the guards' fault they're zombies. Don't want to hurt them. Too bad they don't care as much about hurting us. Possibly possible when Proto is around. Perfect timing. Let's get as far from here as we can. Unfortunately, I don't think you'll be getting very far at all. <laughs> Maybe we can be shark floss. No choice. Gotta slug it out. I do not think so, Dr. Black. Pronto? <laughs> you may laugh at Pronto, but let me introduce you to my little friend. Consider yourselves rescued! That flame spire's gonna fizzle! We gotta bail! Question is, how? <laughs> Got it! The double barrel? Eli, what if it doesn't work? Burpee thinks it will. You had seen what I have, my friends. You would not hesitate to have faith in this slime. <laughs> That's good enough for me. 
Too, Pronto. Yes, we made a great team. Did Pronto just share credit with a slug? Of course, because Pronto knows how to handle slugs. You see, all of you could take a lesson from Pronto. Be strict, but fair, with a steady hand. In order to understand a slug, you must go to a simple 20 point checklist. Step number one does it stink? And by stink, I mean smell. Pronto! Pronto.